It's been 67 years since the Battle of Iwo Jima, but it's an event that will never be forgotten. Every year, World War II veterans visit the island to remember fallen friends and pay respects to the heroes that gave their lives many years ago. However, for some veterans, this is only their first time visiting. Uh, I better get it done because I went down to Washington, D.C. to see the memorial, which took quite a while, World War II memorial, it took quite a while to get it up. I thought, you know, I don't know how much time I have left on this earth. I thought I'd like to have a closure. Many of the veterans also reminisced about their time on the island. Ours is not the reason why. Ours is just to do or die. I didn't know what to, where we were coming. <laughs> I did, all I know is where I came from. We didn't have no idea where we were going or what we were going to do, actually, till we got here. I knew one thing. It was cooler here where I was going than it was in Guam because they gave me a jacket. I helped lay out the graves, and uh, it, 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 that was my job as a surveyor. And it was a pretty uh, gruesome thing to see. It looked like a wheat field with all the crosses and, and, the, and the stars. May God bless the men who fought, suffered, and died on the island of Iwo Jima. That's a lot of people when it looks like a wheat field. But that, that bothered me. Return to this hollow ground, not as adversaries, but as peace-loving people. Now, almost 70 years later, these veterans are content touring the island, remembering the bravery of the men they served with and fought against. Airman First Class William Branch, Iwo Jima, Japan.